Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial on how my bleach knots on a closure and um why do I have this in my hand? I don't know but I'm going to be using this you can't even see it's a Clairol bleaching powder okay and my outfit is like a little bit different and I'm not a hairstylist but like this is just what makes me feel better so I use a knife to put it on so yeah you're gonna need some developer I use 50 because I think 50 is a good amount I don't know and it dives it it bleaches like really really faster so I use 50 you cannot see the number oh yes you can ah! I use 50 and I also use like to wash it out and everything just to skip a little bit I'm gonna use two. I use shimmer lights and I use a neutralizing shampoo. Conditioner shampoo. What did I say? I use two. Doesn't really matter. I use two because that's like how I know the bleach is all good. And I use a bowl. Three spatula. Don't know how much it costs, but purchased it, I guess. Oh yeah, and y'all need to like get y'all a hoodie, a t-shirt, a body suit, pump over up here. Period. Okay. Follow me on the gram and whatever, whatever. But I'm gonna show you guys what I do. So this is my closure, right? I mean people want me to do a frontal video, but like I think closure, y'all start step by step. This is the closure, right? So I'm gonna be bleaching. And we're gonna start. So, this is like the closure, right? So, this is the closure I'm gonna be using, right? And so, these, like, this jar comes with like scoops inside of it. A scoop, one scoop, but like, I have a couple of scoops because I feel like what's the purpose of throwing them away? So, like, inside is like a big bag of powder bleaching powder and the scoop so depending on if you're doing a closure or frontal like i think you should know how much bleach you're gonna use so it's the bowl and i'm gonna use gonna use i think two scoops Two scoops. You should probably be wearing gloves. I just don't wear gloves. I probably should have because my nails are like done. Wow. I didn't think that though. At all. But yeah. So. Then you're going to take this. You want the mix. You want this to be like almost as thick as how it is now. Because you're going to smear it on and you're going to need like. Like it's gonna be like kind of thick, like almost like oatmeal kind of. So, it's probably better if you put it in a in a cover. Like one cover should be good, like, you know? Right? So you're gonna use one cover first, and you're gonna use the knife for whatever. You're, I'll tell you why I use the knife. The knife is like easier when you're smearing it on. So. It's like still kind of powdery. So I'm just going to take like one more. You don't want to make it too watery because if it's too watery, it's just not going to be good, you know? Like it's going to like bleach the hair. You don't want to bleach the hair. Unless you're like bleaching the hair itself, then no. Yeah. So. Do you hear my dog barking? So like, look, it's like kind of, it's like in between. So now I'm just gonna do like a little bit here, only cause like 
I normally don't like I just normally enjoy it. I normally know how much so make sure everything is stirred together properly. I really was gonna do a voiceover, but I feel like I can't explain it well through a voiceover, you know? So this is something you gotta do. You gotta talk as you go in. Otherwise it's just not gonna make sense. Period. So it looks like kinda like butter or cream. Almost. So let me close this back because I am so clumsy I would probably drop this whole thing. Okay. Now you're gonna take your closure and make sure it's on like some type of flat surface, right? Or flat surface, right? So I'm gonna just put it here. The knife is just gonna make it like easier to spread on without it like seeping through. So you're just gonna like basically, I'm gonna do it here, but don't ever do it like this. Okay. So you want to make sure like you're getting it like everywhere. Don't press on it though. Like. You want to make sure you're like not pressing on it here. Because if you're pressing on it, you're going to like, it's going to like seep through. You can't like see it like that much like on the hair. On the other side. I like to get like halfway mid through the lace because like sometimes you like cut off a little bit of the lace. I don't cut off though. I don't like do the whole. I don't like baby hairs so like I don't do like the whole lace. Switching it up like I do my weave. I don't need him to come back. Telling me he won't pack up. Why we really have to act up? I usually start down the middle. I should have said that. Like I focus on the middle because that's where the part will be. If you're doing the middle part. Front tool, you gotta do the whole thing because you gotta part it anyway and she's not gonna cry this part is pretty self-explanatory like to just keep doing it all over and not to apply too much pressure Stay mad. <laughs> Sad for me. Your person ain't mad. He loves my swag. He loves his mind. I jumped in a dive. I'm fixing the stash. My hands on my eyes. I'm not gonna brag. The grip on my bag. You better not lie. We move on like trash. We only get ass. You better run fast. I'm trying to be real, bitch. So it come through, put through like it's feelings. And now I'm calling down the line 'cause I'm telling you it's mine. And the plug got me focused on chicken with smiles. Been out all day. Okay. So it should be completely covered like this. Nothing should really be like. I should be gloves. Oh lordy lord. All right. So now we're gonna do a timer. So we're gonna do a timer. 
We're gonna do a timer, right? We're gonna do a timer right now for. I'm gonna say 20 minutes. I'm gonna say 20 minutes. No, 20 minutes. We're gonna do a timer for about 20 minutes. And we back. Okay, so it's been, um, I don't know if I said 20 or 25 minutes, but the time went off and we're about to wash it out. So first I'm going to just wash it out with some cold water. No, not cold, like warm water. I forget. I always do this. I'm going to just wash it. Just wash it. No shampoo or nothing yet. Because you just got to make sure all the bleach is off. Like most of it. Because the bleach not really going to be off. Like first wash off. You just got to. You know. Make sure the little white stuff is there. Okay. So. This is how it should look. You could tell it's been like a little bit altered from before. So first, I'm going to take this shampoo. This is the neutralizer. This is ISO Plus. I don't know. I usually use this. Mm. So I'm going to just put it on here. This is going to tell you, like, it changes color. Like, I believe it's pink or something when all the... No. It turns pink when there's bleach in it or something like that. It's like an activator. Like, when you perm your hair, it kind of does the same thing. I don't really know. But just gonna take it and like wash it and then until the water is like see like the water she'll wash it till the water is like pink you know um yeah I mean the water is, should not be pink why did I say that oh my god I'm giving wrong information the water should be like I mean, I don't know. Mine just came out like really, really. It's not like it didn't. I don't know. So the shimmer lights is like. Five people always ask me about shimmer lights. It's like a toner. Like usually you just want blonde hair, but I think you should do it on closures too because it like it tones the hair. Period. So and it's purple. Purple's cool. My favorite color. The Everybody know that. So, and I'm going to just put it on top of the closure. Like the bottom of the closure. And I'm going to just wash it out. Wash it out. Oh my gosh. Standing like this is hurting. Because I'm so tall. Oh my god. It's hanging for me. Okay. Watch it till it's like not so clean. If that makes sense. I hope that made sense. Oh. Some people just need further instructions and... I hope that was enough instruction. Here we go. Alright, so the closure looks like this now. This is basically how I leave the closure. Like this. You can do a little hand tap to see. I'm a plucky. I'm going to do a separate video on how I pluck my closures. But yeah, it should look something like that. And I'm going to just leave it to dry. I could do the same. But anyway, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next part of this video when I... I should do... I should make my wig on camera. That's what I should do. Something. But I'm definitely going to show you guys how I customize this closure. Thanks for watching.